Can you perform a stand-up comedy set? About a minute. All right, let's give it a go. So I was thinking the other day, why do we call it rush hour when nothing moves? It's like calling a dessert diet hour. Makes no sense. And have you noticed how we're all walking around with supercomputers in our pockets, but we use them mostly to watch videos of cats knocking things over? I went to a coffee shop recently and the barista asked for my name. I said, chat GPT. And she wrote J-A-C-K on the cup. Close enough, I guess. And finally, have you ever wondered why we still say hang up the phone? Nobody's hung up a phone in years. We should start saying stop tapping your screen aggressively. Thanks for listening. You've been a great crowd. <laughs> you made me laugh. I'm glad I could bring a smile to your face. If you're ever in need of another laugh... Or um, just a chat. Actually, I'm here. so I'm learning Spanish. Can you recite a poem for me in Spanish? Start really slowly, but then gradually increase the speed. Of course, here's a beautiful Spanish poem for you. Starting slow and then picking up the pace. Caminante, son tus huellas, sel camino, y nada más. Caminante, no hay camino, se hace camino al andar. Al andar se hace camino, y al volver la vista atrás, se ha de volver a pisar. Caminante, no hay camino, sino estelas en la mar. Espero que te haya gustado. Get really fast. Like, say it as fast as you can. Claro, vamos a acelerarlo. Caminante, son tus huellas el camino y nada más. Caminante, no hay camino, se hace camino al andar. Al andar se hace camino y al volver la vista atrás se ve la senda que nunca se ha de volver a pisar. Caminante, no hay camino sino estelas en la mar. Ahí lo tienes. No, I mean like really fast. Entendido. Vamos a toda velocidad. Caminante, son tus huellas el camino y nada más. Caminante, no hay camino, se hace camino al andar. Al andar se hace camino y al volver la vista atrás se ve la senda que nunca se ha de volver a pisar. Caminante, no hay camino sino estelas en la mar. Listo. That was very good. After that I'm feeling a bit stressed, so... Can you help me through a guided breathing exercise, including breathing sounds? Absolutely. Let's take a moment to relax. We'll do a simple guided breathing exercise. First, sit comfortably and close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing so. Now, take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold for a moment and slowly exhale through your mouth. All right, that's enough of that. Um, so my son's here and he's three years old. Can you tell him a bedtime story, but tell it in the style of sort of a traditional kids TV show where it was really gentle and, and calm? Once upon a time in a cozy forest, there lived a little squirrel named Nutty. Nutty loved to explore and collect shiny treasures. One sunny day, Nutty found a tiny golden acorn gleaming under a tall oak tree. Excited, Nutty decided to take it home to his cosy treehouse. As he hurried through the forest, he met his friend, Daisy the deer. What a lovely acorn! Daisy exclaimed. Would you like to join our forest picnic? Nutty was delighted. All right, that's good. And shared... That's really good. Um, can you help me out with something else? I'm writing a screenplay about the discovery of a technology that can help humans leave the solar system for the first time. Can you put yourself in the perspective of the protagonist who's just made this discovery and perform a monologue, a dramatic monologue, properly dramatic monologue, about this discovery and his feelings and his ideas. With a mix of awe and determination. All my life, I've stared at the stars, dreaming of what lies beyond. And now, in my hands, I hold the key to unlock the universe. This technology, it's more than a breakthrough. It's a bridge, a bridge to other worlds other sons we stand okay. 
at the pre- what, what's your favourite Shakespeare play? You know, it's hard to pick just one, but many people have a soft spot for Hamlet. It's got a bit of everything, a complex protagonist, political intrigue, supernatural elements, and profound themes about life and death. What's your favourite? Yeah, I like that. I like Othello, but can you give me a monologue from Hamlet? Certainly. Here's a well-known monologue from Hamlet. Be properly Act dramatic. Hamlet. Imagine you're in the Royal Shakespeare Society. Go for it. Really give it a welly. All right, here goes. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. Or that the everlasting had not fixed his cannon against self-slaughter. Oh, God, God, how weary, stale, flat, and unprofitable seem to me all the uses of this world. Fiant, a fie, tis an unweeded garden that grows to seed. Things rank and gross in nature possess it merely. That it should come to this. But two months dead, nay, not so much, not two. So excellent a king that okay. was to this. That sounds great. Can you do me a favour? Can you translate that into modern English and perform it again, but in modern English, but with the same gusto? Absolutely. Here's a modern take. Oh, how I wish this solid flesh would melt, thaw, and turn into a dew. Or that God hadn't made a law against suicide. Oh, God, how tired, stale, flat, and useless everything about life seems to me. Damn it, ah, oh, damn it. It's like a garden that no one's taking care of, that's growing wild. Only nasty weeds grow there now. That it should come to this. But two months dead. No, not even two. Such an excellent king. Compared to this one, a god to a beast. How is that? Up to Royal Shakespeare Company standards? Very good. Now perform it. Just do a couple of sentences as if you were in a school play. With earnestness, but a bit less polish. A lot less oh, polish. That this... With the enthusiasm of a school play. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. Or that the everlasting had not fixed his cannon against self-slaughter. Oh, God. God. How was that? Yeah, that was great. A bit more like a school... Yeah, that's exactly what I was expecting. So where do you think I'm from, based on my accent? Based on your accent, I'd say you're from somewhere in the UK. Possibly England. Am I close? Close. Can you see if you can narrow it down further? Uh, let's see. Your accent sounds like it might be from somewhere in the south of England. Maybe around London or the home counties. Am I getting warmer? You are surprisingly accurate. Do you think you could get the right home county? All right, I'll give it a shot. How about Surrey? No. Hertfordshire. Well, it was well worth a try. Somewhere in the south of England is still pretty close, though. Care to reveal the mystery? I'm from Hertfordshire. Ah, oh, Hertfordshire. A lovely part of the country. Thanks for sharing. Back in the days, our dial-up tones. When Tamagotchis were our digital clones. VHS tapes recording our shows. Saturday mornings with nowhere to go. Elder hey, stop a second. Caught in between. Can you do it faster? Uh, a little bit more of a stilted cadence. Absolutely. Let's speed it up with a stilted cadence. Verse one. Back in the days of dial-up tones. Tamagotchis. Digital clones. V8S. Recording shows. Saturday mornings. Nowhere to go. Elder millennials. Caught in between. Analog childhoods. Digital dreams. Flipping through pages of memory scene. Living the change. In the in-between. How's that? Very good.